when they did the mochas, the quality wasn't the best. It was just riding on the wave of Travis. But these, these are quality. Hey, what up and welcome to another episode of Crease Deep. Well, on today's episode, I do the most ridiculous backflip of all time. I, when we previewed the sneakers coming out this year and, you know, ongoing when it was a little bit quiet, I definitely said I did not need these. It was a random colorway. It just didn't need to be done. But then as people started getting pairs in hand and everything like this, and people start telling me the quality, I started looking for them. I even went on eBay, I found a pair that with the eBay random sneaker code that they've always got going, I think I got it down to about 310 delivered, right? And it was in the cart and I was like, Ugh. I felt dirty, I honestly felt dirty. And I was like, ah, oh, they got afterpay, it's not so bad. You don't think about it when you do it like that, right? And then Ollie hit me up and he said, this guy is doing a retail assist on the 10 and a half. Hit him up straight away. And he said, look, someone was going to pick these up. They were like, it was sold pending. I don't think they'd send any money or anything. He said, but he's pretty sure this dude was just a reseller and he'd seen the videos and he knew I'd put him to feet, so. Let's get into the shoes. All right, this is something that I definitely backflipped on. I said I didn't need, it, didn't need the colorway, and then here we are. Because I have bought these from a second tier platform, being, it was Marketplace, Ollie sent me a screenshot of a dude doing a retail assist on him, but you never can be too careful. We got the black light. Now, there's no judgment on anyone, no matter where I buy a pair of shoes, if it's not from a, a retail platform, I'm gonna check them over just for my own peace of mind. But what I really like about this dude was he had a bunch of people hitting him up. And then when I hit him up, he's like, oh, I watch your videos. I know you're gonna wear them. These kids just wanna make money from them. So I'll sell them to you. So, big shout outs to Francis. Retail assist on a pair that, look, I feel like were pretty easy to get, but I was just like, I don't need them. And then uh, once I started seeing the on feet pics, everyone telling me how crazy the leather quality was. Man, so, look. Let's just get into them, yeah? And he's almost gone as crazy as I go with the tape. This gold though, on the box. They do be calling me Midas, you know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, that gold's coming off too. That must be flaking, because look at the box. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like glittery in the bottom. Now just from the box alone, I can say if these were fake, they're a really good fake. You'll see it all in B-roll, but you can tell the quality of the box is on point with a Jordan 1. No overwhelming smells. Oh, super quality leather. These are gonna be one of those ones that you beat up and that boot style leather is just gonna look immaculate. Now what we're looking for here is some guidelines for when the factories are putting the shoe together 
they go along a black light type line and that's where they notice so these obviously don't have it so we're all good we just ended up with These are so nice. When I first seen these, I was like, I do not need them. I just don't, I don't need them. I've got so many Jordan ones. This is a colorway that really has no sort of meaning, there's no significance to them, they're not trying to tell a story, they're not, I don't need them. I did the biggest backflip of all time on these because my god these are nice. Now don't get me wrong, you can't really see me wearing these in summer, spring, whatever, but winter, come on. The main thing people have been telling me is this brown leather, they're like the quality of it is that of like a really nice boot leather and I'm seeing that man like I I don't know what I was thinking initially when I was sleeping on these because these are insane like to me the brown started with the Travis Scotts, right? Everyone holds them in such high regards. I think these are better. I honestly do. The backward swoosh is a bit gimmicky. When they did the mochas, the quality wasn't the best. It was just riding on the wave of Travis. But these, these are quality. These are insane, like, they didn't drop in every store, but from what I understand, they're pretty readily available. Even me getting them here at, at a retail assist is like maybe two, three weeks removed from the actual drop. Just look at that leather. Come for me in the comments if you want, but I'm saying these right here are better than the Travis Scott highs. And I would I would put them, the original Mocha Travis Scott highs, as probably the best within Travis. All the other colorways don't really do it for me. But these here, I feel like are better. And even if it is a resell, if you aren't able to cop in store, if you're not able to get the retail assist like I got through Francis, I think that's on for about 300, 250s retail. I came close to paying resale on these. I went on eBay, there was a bunch of people selling them for around about $300, $10 postage. Then there was some eBay sneakers discount code. I came very close. I had them in the cart multiple times. I was like, ah, it's over, but it's 300. And look, because it's eBay, I can just after pay it, right? Thank you. Francis on these because such a beautiful pair. Like I said, I don't think it's much of a summer colorway, but when they're planning these types of things, they're more planning for America anyway. So if you're in America, winter, autumn, perfect shoe. Absolutely perfect shoe. But I don't even think I went in a raffle for these. I didn't, I was like, I don't need them. I don't need them. I don't need them. I don't need them. This is the biggest backflip I've done in a long time because I definitely needed them. Shout out to Francis, my guy. Anytime there's something that he wants to go for and maybe I'm not into, I'm happy to go in for him for a retail assist after this and Let's get some B-roll and wrap this up.
These are incredible. I'm so stoked with these. Shout outs again to the Fran to can't say words. Shout out again to Francis hooking me up. Retail assist. It feels good, man. Like I'm always doing the retail assist for people. I've done it many times to Adam. Um, and now to get one in return. And look, this was a pair that I said I didn't need. I feel like I remember seeing that being like shiny gold and it being the muted like mustard yellow so much better. I feel like the brown leather material, it's just insane. Reminds you of like a good dress shoe or something like that. But I honestly feel like these are better than the Mochas, better than the Travis. Come for me in the comments. That's how I feel. Maybe it's a recency bias. Maybe it's because I got them in hand and I own them. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about them. Don't forget, this weekend, Saturday, in Auburn, it's more than just sneakers. Kickstand event. I'll be there. I just... I just paid attention. We definitely have a table. I'm going to be offloading a bunch of shoes. Um, make way for new stuff, man. Like, be some cool stuff that you might be looking for. There'll be some stuff that maybe you never thought about. And, you know, you never know. All types of stuff. We didn't get the merch done in time. I was still playing with designs. I did like a hundred designs and just couldn't think of like one or two. And printing turnarounds, all that type of stuff. Maybe you want a sample to see it first before you go full size run. And yeah, it just didn't happen. But I will be having a bunch of sneakers. I think I've found like maybe 20 pairs. Some with boxes, some with not. Some worn, some DS. And I've got a bunch of like random stuff. You remember back in the day, the little handheld Street Fighter 2 machine? I've got one of them. We'll sell that on the day. Wu-Tang PS1 game. Random stuff. Got some vintage, like, Echo stuff. Jordan, like, clothing and stuff. We're just going to bring it all down. We're here to make money. And just declutter, because I've got way too much shit, just in general. So, perfect opportunity. Uh, I believe doors open at 11. I'll be down there at like 9, setting up, so it's going to be a big day for me. We're going to, my man Adam's going to come, he's got some pairs too that he wants to move. He's got some more hype stuff, so if that's more your thing, there's going to be a bit of that. Um, we're going to be doing content as well. I haven't decided, I just brought like, a, like an action camera GoPro type thing. Um, maybe I'll put the chest strap on and just walk around and do a, like a full thing as well as like the random stuff with this. I don't know. Play it by ear. I want to do a lot more content this time from it. Last time I got too distracted by the event and the basketball hoop. So we'll do that and it should be fun, man. It's more than just sneakers. Sydney event. Even if you're not from Sydney, travel, bro. Like a I live in Newcastle, it's a couple of hours, I'm still coming down. Um, I went to the Melbourne one, I drove to the Melbourne one. It's a lot of fun. Definitely hope to see you there. Come say hi, say what up, chop it up, buy some sneakers, don't come for the raffles, they usually have food trucks, everything like that. Shoot some basketballs. I think it's like 10 bucks entry, so it's cheap as. Good day. And you meet some like-minded people. Again, like I've said, if you're watching this right now, then you're into sneakers to the level where you're going to enjoy this event. Let me know in the comments what you're feeling about these. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. We'll be back twice a week. Peace. I said that last week and forgot to do an episode, the second episode. But you know that happens if you've been watching this long enough. This week there'll definitely be two. Follow on week with all the it's more than just sneakers content will be three you never know peace